African wild dog. The African wild dog, Lycaon pictus, also called the painted dog, or cape hunting dog, is a canine native to sub-Saharan Africa. It is the largest indigenous canine in Africa, and the only extant member of the genus Lycaon, which is distinguished from Canis by dentition highly specialized for a hypercarnivorous diet, and a lack of dew claws. It is estimated that about 6,600 adults including 1,400 mature individuals live in 39 subpopulations that are all threatened by habitat fragmentation, human persecution and outbreaks of diseases. As the largest subpopulation probably consists of less than 250 individuals, the African wild dog is listed as endangered on the IUCN Red List since 1990. The African wild dog is a highly social animal, living in packs with separate dominance hierarchies for males and females. Uniquely among social carnivores, the females rather than the males disperse from the natal pack once sexually mature. The young are allowed to feed first on carcasses. The species is a specialized diurnal hunter of antelopes, which it catches by chasing them to exhaustion. Like other canids, the African wild dog regurgitates food for its young, but this action is also extended to adults, to the point of being central to their social life. Its natural enemies are lions and hyenas, the former will kill the canids where possible whilst hyenas are frequent kleptoparasites. Although not as prominent in African folklore or culture as other African carnivores, it has been respected in several hunter-gatherer societies, particularly those of the Pradinistic Egyptians and the Sand people. Description the African wild dog is the bulkiest and most solidly built of African canids. The species stands 60 to 75 centimeters in shoulder height, measures 71 to 112 centimeters in head and body length and has a tail length of 29 to 41 centimeters. Body weight of adults range from 18 to 36 kilogram. On average, dogs from East Africa weigh around 20 to 25 kilograms while in Southern Africa, males reportedly weighed a mean of 32.7 kilograms and females a mean of 24.5 kilogram. By body mass, they are only outsized amongst other extant canids by the grey wolf species complex. Females are generally 3 to 7 percent smaller than males. Compared to members of the genus Canis, the African wild dog is comparatively lean and tall, with outsized ears and lacking dew claws. The middle two turpads are usually fused. Its dentition also differs from that of Canis by the degeneration of the last lower molar, the narrowness of the canines and proportionately large premolars, which are the largest relative to body size of any carnivore other than hyenas. The heel of the lower carnassial M1 is crested with a single, blade-like cusp, which enhances the shearing capacity of the teeth, thus the speed at which prey can be consumed. This feature, termed trenchant heel, is shared with two other canids, the Asian dole and the South American bush dog. The skull is relatively shorter and broader than those of other canids. The fur of the African wild dog differs significantly from that of other canids, consisting entirely of stiff bristle hairs with no underfur. It gradually loses its fur as it ages, with older individuals being almost naked. Color variation is extreme, and may serve in visual identification, as African wild dogs can recognize each other at distances of 50 to 100 meters. Some geographic variation is seen in coat color, with northeastern African specimens tending to be predominantly black with small white and yellow patches, while southern African ones are more brightly colored, sporting a mix of brown, black and white coats. Much of the species' coat patterning occurs on the trunk and legs. Little variation in facial markings occurs, with the muzzle being black, gradually shading into brown on the cheeks and forehead. A black line extends up the forehead, turning blackish-brown on the back of the ears. A few specimens sport a brown teardrop-shaped mark below the eyes. The back of the head and neck are either brown or yellow. A white patch occasionally occurs behind the forelegs, with some specimens having completely white forelegs, chests and throats. The tail is usually white at the tip, black in the middle and brown at the base. Some specimens lack the white tip entirely, or may have black fur below the white tip. These coat patterns can be asymmetrical, with the left side of the body often having different markings from that of the right. Behavior. The African wild dog has very strong social bonds, stronger than those of sympatric lions and spotted hyenas, thus, solitary living and hunting are extremely rare in the species. It lives in permanent packs consisting of 2 to 27 adults and yearling pups. The typical pack size in Kruger National Park and the Maasai Mara is 4 or 5 adults, while packs in Maremi and Salus contain 8 or 9. 
However, larger packs have been observed and temporary aggregations of hundreds of individuals may have gathered in response to the seasonal migration of vast springbok herds in southern Africa. Males and females have separate dominance hierarchies, with the latter usually being led by the oldest female. Males may be led by the oldest male, but these can be supplanted by younger specimens, thus, some packs may contain elderly former male pack leaders. The dominant pair typically monopolizes breeding. The species differs from most other social species in that males remain in the natal pack, while females disperse, a pattern also found in primates such as gorillas, chimpanzees, and red colobuses. Furthermore, males in any given pack tend to outnumber females 3 to 1. Dispersing females join other packs and evict some of the resident females related to the other pack members, thus preventing inbreeding and allowing the evicted individuals to find new packs of their own and breed. Males rarely disperse, and when they do, they are invariably rejected by other packs already containing males. Although arguably the most social canid, the species lacks the elaborate facial expressions and body language found in the grey wolf, likely because of the African wild dog's less hierarchical social structure. Furthermore, while elaborate facial expressions are important for wolves in re-establishing bonds after long periods of separation from their family groups, they are not as necessary to African wild dogs, which remain together for much longer periods. A species-wide study showed that by preference, where available, five species were the most regularly selected prey, namely the greater kudu, Thompson's gazelle, impala, bushbuck and blue wildebeest. More specifically, in East Africa, its most common prey is Thompson's gazelle, while in Central and Southern Africa, it targets impala, reedbuck, cob, lechwe and springbok. Its diet is not restricted to these animals, though, as it also hunts warthog, oribi, diker, waterbuck, grants gazelle, ostrich, calves of African buffalo and smaller prey such as dick dick, hares, spring hares, insects and cane rats. Staple prey sizes are usually between 15 and 200 kilograms, though some local studies put upper prey sizes as variously 90 to 135 kilograms. In the case of larger species such as kudu and wildebeest, calves are largely but not exclusively targeted. However, certain packs in the Serengeti specialized in hunting adult plains zebras weighing up to 240 kilograms quite frequently. Another study claimed that some prey taken by wild dogs could weigh up to 289 kg. One pack was recorded to occasionally prey on bat-eared foxes, rolling on the carcasses before eating them. African wild dogs rarely scavenge, but have on occasion been observed to appropriate carcasses from spotted hyenas, leopards, cheetahs and lions, as well as animals caught in snares. In East Africa, African wild dogs in packs of 17 to 43 eat 1.7 kilograms of meat on average each day. Thanks for watching.